In this video, we're going to discuss the Lorentz transformations. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, please, I, I want more equations to memorize. Uh, I don't have enough. So this is, this is the video for you. So we know that the Galilean transformation is not valid when V approaches the speed of light. And in this case, which, you know, comes up not very often, when was the last time you were traveling near the speed of light? Uh, I, I can't even remember the last time I was. But in this case, and it's just something we have to learn, we know that, so you have your two frames of reference. So we've got X, we've got Y, got our origin, and we'll, we'll label this the S frame. Then we have the S not frame. I know it's this very creative labeling here. So we've got X not, we've got origin not, and we've got Y not. Okay, so if we want to move from the S to the S not frame, then we would use the following set of equations. We'd convert x naught is equal to little gamma times x minus v t. And recall that, you know, gamma just comes up so often in special relativity that we give it a special symbol. So 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And then for the y coordinate, it is tra it's, it's very difficult. It is equal to just y. So if we're traveling along the x-axis, um, in many cases, in most cases, um, it is just dealing with the x-axis. So the y-axis is still the y and the z not is still going to be equal to z, but time, so time is going to change now. So time is equal to gamma times 1 minus vx over c squared. And let me just make sure, no, okay, no, I did mess it up. Oh, of course we need a t in there. So gamma t minus vx divided by c squared. And these primes, you know, they do matter. It means we're talking about this frame. So we're going to move our coordinates from here, the s to the s naught frame. And this is the system of equations we would use then for position. And now, say we wanted to go the other way. So we wanted to go from s naught to s frame. We would use the following equations. And just, just to keep it fun, you know, we like, we physicists, we like our equations, so x, we would transform it as gamma times x naught minus v t naught and y, oh, do you remember? It's a tricky one, okay, y naught and z is z naught and t is equal to gamma times t naught plus v x naught divided by c squared. Okay. Okay, so this is how you would transform for position. So you can think about this um, a few different ways, but it's important to notice that, you know, with the time here, uh, the signs flip and we're transforming to the t naught frame, so x is going to go to x naught, t to t naught, in this case x to x naught, and t to t naught, but in the case of x naught is still going to be a negative here. Okay, and now we are, so this is how you would transform position, and really the, this isn't going to come up too often unless you are the next, I don't know, Albert Einstein or Richard Feynman or the next inventor of a, a super light travel near a spaceship that travels near the speed of light. So if you do that, please let me know because I would love to talk to you. And then we can discuss these equations further. 
But another uh, important equation, and perhaps the one which will come up more frequently in your assignments, is the velocity, so the Lorentz velocity transformation. And this one is a little more fun to work with. And it is as follows, so u naught in the x-direction, and u is just the same as uh, velocity, so we've introduced a new symbol, u is still meters per second. You can think of u as just similar to v, it's just we're going to have multiple velocities going on, so we're going to need a different symbol now. So if velocity is equal to a velocity ux, minus v, all divided by 1 minus ux v divided by c squared. So these terms here, uh, say we'll just set up a really quick example, so something traveling to the right, something traveling to the left, and you've got u here, and you're on the earth, and you've got some shades on. Okay. Well, the velocity you observe of this first thing traveling to the right is going to be v. So you observe from Earth that v is traveling at some percent of the speed of light, and you observe from Earth another uh, speed, which is ux here. So ux is going to be traveling left, and you observe these top two terms here, and where this third velocity comes in, well, this is going to be the velocity of ux with respect to v. And so v will see ux approaching at ux naught. And so these first two, this is uc, uh, this relativistic velocity, the second one, you see this re relativistic velocity, but this third velocity here is with respect to v. So v has its own inertial reference frame, so with a constant velocity, and it will observe a different uh, velocity of this craft than you will. So you'll see it traveling at one speed, but v will see it approaching it at a different speed. And we'll go into that in more details in the next video.